Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mohammed. And you know this channel is all about livestock. And today I'm in Balgatanga. I started my journey from Yeji. I came to Bupe, Tamale, and now I'm in Balgatanga. Someone asked me a question. Should I do my cattle farm in the south? In the southern part of Ghana, or I should do it in the northern part of Ghana? And today, this is the question I will be answering for that person. Or oh, there are a lot of you who are who are, who are having the similar thinking. So I'm sure this video will be a help because I've been through all the states. I've been through Takradi and stuff, and I know I've I've gathered the experience and stuff and everything. You get it? So here you can see there are animals here and before I, let's, uh, before I start, this is a shelbert tree, yeah, that is it. So you can see some animals around and I always talk about two things. In animals there are two things, feed and drugs, feed and drugs, that's the most important thing in livestock farming. But let's see, let's take a look around. What do you see? Do you see anything green? No. There's no pasture. They get it. And we are in the month of January. There's no there is nothing for the animals to eat, feed. You go to February, then in March. Uh, so Bupe, I had a, a chat with a guy. When I got to Bupe, I got to know I got to know that the market was empty and everything because all those at Bupe are moving their cattle to Ejura, which is the southern part. You see. So a lot of people are moving their cattle from the northern part to the southern part. You see, this time that's exactly what happens. They will move all their cattle from the northern part, then walk them to the southern part. And that's where the problems comes, because in the in the southern part, right now someone is having a small garden of pepper, tomato, or something else. You see, and when they got there, it will be a conflict, and that's the problem, because there's no feed here during during general during the dry season. There's no feed. You will suffer. Your animals will suffer. You see. So all I'm trying to say, without wasting much time on this, all I will try, all I will say is, if you have the money, buy your land and do your farm in the southern part of Ghana. If you have the money, though they don't understand it. And a lot of people, you they will see your animal not even entering into their farm or something else, but they will do things, they will say things that will hurt you or something like that. Because they don't have the knowledge about this thing. They, they have no idea. And the same people, they eat meat every day. You get it? So we have to find a modern way of doing our livestock farming. Because you can't say you you buy feed for the animals all the time. It will cost you. At the end of the day, you end up doing susu rather than making profits from the animal. You get it. So the person who asked this question, I hope he sees this video. And if you are having a similar thought, I hope you see this video. Because it's not an easy thing. The land is bare. Coming to a February, March, it will be worse. You see? And it will be worse than that. So, guys, that's the message for you. If you're having a problem or if you're thinking of where to do your cattle farm, this is the answer for you. Because it's not an easy thing. When your animals are not getting enough feed, <laughs> then 
the animals are going to die. Yeah, animals will die because of feed in some places. That's where it becomes cheap and stuff. But this time, please, if you are there thinking animals will be cheap, please, you are deceiving yourselves. Because the number of people who are looking for cattle to buy are more. And we are all waiting for dry season. So at the end of the day, the demand will still be high. We are waiting for dry season. I'm waiting for dry season. The another person is waiting for dry season. So at the end of the day, we will meet at the same market. I hope you guys are getting what I mean. At the end of the day, we are going to meet at the same market. So if you are having the money, please buy it now. That is my opinion. Because today, I'm here in Balgatanga. This is my house and this is my house too. We are having a funeral here and a guinea fowl here is costing more than 100 cities. A guinea fowl is costing more than 100 cities. This, give, this thing keep, gives me the reason. The reason why you should start your livestock farming. Because livestock, I'm not, I'm not saying a cattle or goat alone. We have turkeys, chicken and other stuff. Because in Ghana we eat every day. People eat every day. People eat every day and the demand is high. So you can see. And these people are not having any feed for animals. At the end of the day, they will be cutting these trees for them to eat. And this won't last. You get it. It's not going to last. So guys, the person who asked me this question, I'm sure he sees it. I pray he sees the video. And if you are having a similar thinking, I hope you I hope this video will be helpful to you. So guys, thank you for your time. And please watch my content, share it with your friends, leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you have any question, ask me at that place. And let us know what to go on. Together we can make this place, together we can make our country a better place. We can't run away from here. Where are you going? If you travel outside, at the end of the day, you will come back home. And you will eat. You get it? You will eat. So guys, let's do this thing together. Inshallah, everything will be best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And to those who are not Muslims, bye-bye. Thank you so much.